We're now in section 6 of our AutoCAD Electrical 2015 course. We're going to look at basic workflow as we work through an AutoCAD Electrical drawing. Now, the environment that you're working in with AutoCAD Electrical is very, very different to a regular AutoCAD environment. So the basic workflow is that you need to work with your project manager here and also work with tabs such as your project tab, your schematic tab, your panel tab, reports tab, import export data and conversion tools because you can convert existing electrical data into AutoCAD electrical as well. Now I'm just going to go to the schematic tab because this is where you'll do most of your work. Now the basic workflow is that what you do is you load up your project here first of all in the project manager. Even if you've got no drawings open, you must have an active project. So let me close this. If I close down Demo 02 and then close down Demo 01, you can see there that I've still got my Demo 06 project active. And what I do is I just double click on a drawing I need and that will open up in the project like so. Then I double click on the wheel to zoom extents, overview the drawing and start working. Now the nice thing about AutoCAD Electrical when you're working with this basic workflow is I can have as many drawings open as I want. And what I can do is I can toggle between those drawings as well. So the basic workflow is that I'm here looking for the drawing I need. I can then go up to the quick access toolbar here. If I click on this arrow here, next project drawing, it'll just go straight to Demo 02. The tab changes. I don't actually have to open up another drawing. I can. If I double click on Demo 01, that will open up two drawings. I've got Demo 01 and Demo 02 open. If I want to close one of those, I just click on the cross on the tab. Job done. The drawing is closed. But if I want to just toggle between drawings, I would utilize the quick access toolbar and just work my way through the drawings. So that's your basic workflow. The rest of it, if you've used AutoCAD before, is very, very similar. You go up to the ribbon select a command, work through that command in AutoCAD Electrical. So for example, you might want to number a wire. Let's say we've got some wires over here in drawing 03. So let's zoom in. And what I'll do is I'll just pan down this way a little bit and there's a wire there. So if I come here, wire like so, there's the wires there, but I need to wire number it. So I go over here to wire numbers. There we go, wire numbers there. I can tag if I want to like that, pick an individual wire. So I'll select that wire there, press enter to confirm, works out the wire numbering for me and adds that to the list. So you can see there that it's linking things to the project database all the time. That's where the basic workflow is very different. And you must remember to utilize the tools that you have available to you. So if I click on this wire here now and then right click, I've got this here. I can change, convert the wire type, trim the wire, insert a component, go to wire numbering and edit that wire number. So at the moment it's 309B and it's visible. So if I OK that now, destination arrow was found on this network. You cannot assign a fixed wire number to a network that has a destination arrow symbol. So why is that? Well let's look into it from a workflow viewpoint. You can see here 309B, 309B. It's on the ladder there instead. So it's got that destination. So it's kind of going across there. And can you see that arrowhead is telling me where it's going? 322, 309B. So they're linking across somewhere in the circuit. So this is the basic workflow that you're going to be doing every day with AutoCAD Electrical. You're going to be working with your project manager over here. And you're then going to be working, if I just double click and zoom extent, with your schematic drawings, your panel drawings, your connector drawings. It's a very, very different environment because you're not just drawing something and then saying, oh, this drawing does this. What you're doing is you're drawing something, linking it to the project database, and then perhaps opening up another drawing and showing similar data linking to another drawing in the project database. So that's your basic workflow when you're using AutoCAD Electrical. It's very easy to remember. Project Manager, get the project loaded, open up the drawing in the project, make sure that that drawing is linked to the project and then start working in the project drawing here, making sure that the data you're creating is linking back to the project database in AutoCAD Electrical. 
We're staying in our Demo 06 project because we're in Section 6 of the course and we're staying in Demo 03.dwg. Now, all I'm going to look at here is the Info Center. Now, the Info Center in AutoCAD Electrical is in the same place as it is for all other Autodesk products. It's up here at the top near the title bar, and here I can type in a word, let's say wire, for example, and then I can click on the binocular symbol and search for that particular result in help. So I can go and look up the wire command. Now, I'm not going to bore you by looking at help screens. The Info Center has its purpose within the workflow within AutoCAD Electrical. I can sign in, for example, into Autodesk 360. So if I click there and sign in, what will happen is it will allow me to sign in by putting in my Autodesk ID and then obviously allowing me to work with my cloud-based apps and tools available in Autodesk 360. Now, I'm not going to sign in because we've already been through Autodesk 360 and mentioned AutoCAD 360 in previous videos. But you get the idea. The Info Center becomes part of your workflow, especially if you're working with people that are mobile and working on site and perhaps using tablets with Autodesk 360 to snag one of your electrical installations. Other things you have are obviously the Exchange apps. You can go and download apps for AutoCAD Electrical and obviously pay for them. Also as well, don't forget to use the Stay Connected options here. You can connect with Autodesk if you're on Autodesk subscription. You can go into the Autodesk Subscription Center. You can also check out Autodesk Certified Hardware that's been checked out and tested by Autodesk. You can also check out AutoCAD on the web, on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter as well. So you can go and connect with people socially on these types of apps like YouTube, Facebook and Twitter and perhaps you might have a question about AutoCAD Electrical. You never know, you might pop a question on the Facebook page and say, how does AutoCAD Electrical do this? Bring these things into your workflow. Things like YouTube videos that might explain how to use a particular function in AutoCAD Electrical. Once you've learnt it, you won't forget it because you'll be using it live as part of your professional workflow when you're drawing in AutoCAD Electrical. So make sure that the Info Center, top right up here, on the title bar of AutoCAD Electrical is part of your workflow when you're working on your electrical drawings.